Welcome to the play on NewsOK.com. I'm Dave Morris. It's Tuesday, July 31st. For the last few days, Oklahomans have not been able to get or renew their driver's license or state ID cards. Officials of the Department of Public Safety say a power outage on Sunday caused a hardware problem. The agency says it's working with a hardware vendor to try to correct the problem, but officials did not know how long it would take to get the system up and running again. The Capitol's oldest statue was restored and rededicated on Tuesday morning. The piece honors the state's range riders. It was the first piece of art to be installed at the Capitol. It sure certainly is an important part of our history. It's an important part to remember our past, to celebrate our future, but we all have an obligation to be good stewards, to take care of our art, to take care of our capital, to take care of our seat of our government, the artwork that's in it, and uh, we're very proud of that. Crews also worked hard to restore the large doors on the south side of the Capitol. Those 18-foot tall doors have been repaired, and the south portico is open once again. And this is a major milestone in our project. We are very, very proud uh, to be able to do that today. This summer marks three years of construction on the Capitol Restoration Project. Funding for the project was approved by a $120 million bond issue passed by the legislature back in 2014. Some students, staff, and teachers at Oklahoma City Public Schools will be sporting a new look before heading back to class on August 1st. Stylists from Beauty Mark Salon provided free haircuts on Tuesday in honor of the start of school. It's the second year the salon has volunteered with the district. It's definitely rewarding. I grew up, um, I, would, I would say poor. I mean, I don't know a better way to describe that, but we weren't always, you know, we couldn't afford haircuts sometimes and stuff, so it's really nice that whenever I can help out, I can have these kids feel good like I did whenever I was able to. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman, also online at newsok.com. Dave Morris, have a great evening, everyone.